What's going on guys? Um, today we're gonna be ceramic coating these wheels. So if you guys haven't gotten the tires mounted, mount them right away and try to get the, uh, the sticky weight. This one doesn't have any weights at all, but if you do get any weights, get them on the inside right here, okay? So um, the reason why we need to prep these wheels, even though they're brand new, is because when they mount it, they use uh, this lube on it that is kind of, when it, when it dries, it's kind of hardened. So you wanna get everything off before we ceramic coat it. So um, to do that, you can just use any kind of wheel cleaner. Uh, I don't use any uh, acid-based wheel cleaners, but I'm just gonna hose off the wheel. But uh, you can just use a garden hose or anything like that. You don't have to have anything fancy. Hose it off, give it a couple of squirts. You also wanna clean the tire where you're at it. That's my procedure. You don't have to clean it if you don't want to. I like to clean everything. So clean the tire. Um, for the job, you can use a, a detailing brush if you want. This one's kind of beat. I need to get some new ones, but um, I just clean everything. You want to be really careful with the stickers. So you also want to put the stickers um, on before you ceramic coat them because they might not stick anymore. Uh, that's also another reason why you want to get your tires mounted uh, because when you stick the wheel weights on ceramic coated wheels, they don't stick anymore. So you want to make sure you get them mounted up. For the cleaning process, it's nothing really special. You just want to get all the nook and crevices. You're really mainly just cleaning um, all the uh, lube you used from uh, mounting the tires. Nothing too crazy. And we're gonna do an alcohol wipe down after this. Okay, so I use this tough, uh, tough shine tire brush and I just scrubbed the whole tire. Um, the tire, when they mount the tire, they could do this with a lube, so you just wanna clean it out. And for the barrels, um, you could use the detailing brush to do it too. Um, if you have a uh, lambskin, lambskin wheel mitt, you could also use this. I just like to spray a little bit on the barrel real quick. Scrub down the edges, on spokes. And after that, the wheel is basically done. So I'm gonna just hose it off real quick. Nothing special. So now you wanna double check your work. Cause right here, as I'm doing this, you see this? These? That's a whole ass chunk of lube right here as well, all around. See all that? That's all lube from mounting the tire. So, if you notice anything like that, go ahead, hit it a couple more times. Grab everything off. Um, that's why I'm saying that this cleaning process is so important is because they use so much lube to protect, to get the wheel to tire on, especially with these meaty ass tires. So, after I do that, close it off again. And of course, I missed the spot. All right guys, so um, uh, I got the wheels rinsed down now. I checked to make sure I got everything clean. And now you can just grab, a, not really a rag, but any microfiber towel that you don't really care about, some cheap ones or the like. And now you just want to make sure you thoroughly dry it. I want to make sure you, there's no water anymore. There's obviously going to be some around this bead, tire bead and this area, but um, you just want to get a majority of it out because you're going to be prepping it for uh, the ceramic coating. We're going to do an alcohol wipe down right before we do the ceramic coating as well. I say the whole ceramic coating process actually takes about a, typically an hour if you, if you like do every little step. All personal preference on some of the stuff. Welcome back guys. So uh, we got all four tires now clean and um, we're gonna move on to the second step which is to wipe down all four wheels with alcohol to remove any grease, oil or anything like that even though we just washed it. Just just, just an extra precaution. And what we're gonna be doing it is I'm gonna use a razor blade and I'm gonna de-nip all of these tires. These are like from the uh, from the mounting, uh, from the molding of the tire. So basically I just pull them up a little bit. So I pull them up, uh, pull the nibs upward and then when they kind of reach the max, I uh, use a razor knife and I just like lob that motherfucker off. So you don't have to do this step, but I just like doing it because when you, these moldings look so ugly. And um, when you finish, it's just like a smooth tire only. And you're only doing this once when you get new tires. So, I mean, it's a long process to do, but it's it's well worth it. And trust me, I mean, this just just makes all the difference once it's, once it's completely done. And uh, you guys might be like, oh, well, you don't have to really do it. I mean, you drive it a couple of thousand miles and it'll disappear. Well, the problem is these tires don't really last that long. Probably like 5,000 miles if I'm lucky. So I like my tires looking clean all the time. After you're done with that, let's just say, you could uh, 
do your uh, alcohol wipe down. And from this point on, you also want to start wearing gloves because you don't want to contaminate the surface. And uh, I'm just gonna soak it up a little bit with that. Just do a wipe down and everything. Make sure you got everything. You also want to do the, uh, the back of the wheel. And that's it. And then now we're gonna be ready for the ceramic coating, which we would be doing after we do all these procedures. So catch you guys in a little bit. We finally got everything wiped down. Um, the ceramic coating I'll be using is the C5 wheel armor from G-Technic. Um, it, it comes with these little con pads. You don't really have to use these if you don't want it. You can use a suede block and everything, but I like these because it's easier to get to the shape. It's an old bottle. You just want to make sure there's no glass shards. Now I'm just going to apply the ceramic coating. For the first, when you're just priming, I like to do a lot, but then after that you can do less. And I just like to apply, you want to keep track of what you do. I do the face first, the rim. You know what? I never never ceramic coated these caps before. I'll do it today. And I ceramic coat the lip. And then after that, I start with the 12 o'clock spoke. Get the lips too. Making sure you don't drop the uh, applicator pad. You're gonna take your time on this process. You really just wanna make sure you get it into every groove and crevice. Make sure you get it evenly applied on there. Um, you don't really have to level this stuff, to be honest, but uh, I like to let it sit for a little bit. By the time I usually get around to doing backside, it's a good time to wipe it down. So at the back, you can start with the barrel and then work your way inside. The ceramic coating will give your, your mat wheels a, a little shinier look to it. Just letting you guys know, FYI. I went ahead and I did the back wheels. It's about maybe a minute to two minutes. For a wipe down, you want to use like a, maybe a dirty one or like not really a dirty, dirty one, but like a towel you won't be using again because when it dries, the ceramic coating is going to be glass and you don't want to use this on paint because there's chances that it might scratch the paint up. So after I'm done, I just start from the from the area I started ceramic coating first, which is the lip area. And this wipe down process is to make sure that you get all the excess off because uh, there's going to be extra on it. And I just want to... You don't want to leave the ceramic coating uh, on there because you might have high spots. And high spots are gonna be really difficult to remove. You might have to polish it and all that. It's a whole little different thing and it's too complicated um, to, to do. So by the time you finish wiping down the front, it's already probably time to do the back wheel. You see how the, the matte wheel is glossier though? The barrel. The barrel is a lot glossier compared to a, a non-ceramic coated one. And that's it. The wheel is ceramic coated now. So you don't want to get the wheels wet. I know it's hard. It's tempting to uh, immediately see how hydrophobic the wheel is compared to your other ones. But you realistically, I think you want to wait at least 24 hours. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Wait 24 hours before I test the durability and how hydrophobic it is. So um, we're going to cue the cinematics and we're going to do the other three wheels together. So to finish it off with the ceramic coated wheels, we're gonna be using Carpool Pearl right here to apply it to the tires as tire shine and this kind of protects it, I guess. I use a little bit of like, like this much for the whole tire. And then uh, I start from the top. Kind of want to be careful and try not to get it everywhere. But I like to just do a layer of tire shine because this stuff just like, just gives it that perfect look to it. Especially after it's been freshly denived, clean, ceramic coated. Just cause like once it's on this car, it just looks so good. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you guys like these kind of like smaller, shorter videos of detailing, uh, DIY, how to, or like that. Let us know. We'll see you guys in the next one. Huh. <laughs>